So good afternoon. Uh, Karibuni sana. Uh, welcome to the Frank Fox Planning at the Forest. I'm Sam. Uh, my colleague is Mr. Samuel. You are going to be our instructors. So about your gears, they are all good. So in case you need any further readjustment with your gear, please don't avoid it. You can ask me or oh, my colleague. So the idea is, I'm going to access the platform over here. I'll tell you how to zip line. So I just need your attention for a few minutes. Yeah. So, so I'm going to make it go. Uh, so what is going to happen, uh, Samuel is going to zip line first uh, to welcome us on the other side. While Mark you on top, I'll be creeping you on the line according to your dominant hand. So do you have any left handed? Any lefty? So two of you, so the moment you come on top over here, uh, just remind me you are left handed. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to attach with this, just for safety reasons. Then after that, I'll be creeping you on the line using the pulley. Then you do have the connector. They do go hand in hand like that. Then after that, I'll ask you to hold the pulley. So you are going to use your dominant hand. So you open palm, go against the pulley, four fingers curve, then facing up. Then the other hand, hold the two lanyards here. Then after that, I'll ask you to sit down. Uh, put your whole body on the gear, it's very safe, it's capable of carrying 1.5 tons, 1,500 kgs. Anyone close to that? <laughs> uh, so we are all good to go. Then after that, I like you to lean back. So leaning back is making your dominant hand straighten up like that. Then after that, you just have to cross your legs, tuck them in, lift your knees up like this so this is the best position while zipping it's going to help you go fast and also make it on the other side so one thing to note uh, on the main cable sometimes it might be windy so you might feel like you are spinning in between no panicking that's normal what you're supposed to do do not remove your dominant hand from the pulley your dominant hand always remain on top of this then before i let you go i'm going to do some safety checks uh, we do call them pass uh, p stand for platform lanyards while over here please stay attached with this until i perform all the safety checks then a stand for adjust i'm going to adjust your gear if needed check your three buckles once again and also make sure you have the gloves on with you then the first s Stand for set and squeeze. I'll set both carabiners on the line with your whole body weight on the gear. I'll also squeeze check to make sure both are fully locked. Then the last S, stand for step away and signal save. I'll wait to wait for the first zipper to be out of the line. I'm also going to wait for the radio message from my colleague Samuel telling me the line is clear for the next person to zip down. So don't make a mistake of zipping while we still have someone on the line. And in case you have any concern, I haven't performed all the checks. Please don't allow me to remove this because the moment I remove this, that means you're good to go. Then once I'm through with that, I let you zip line. And while zipping, two things may happen. You may either go too fast, you need braking at the end, or you may go too slow and get stuck on the line. So if you happen to go too fast, Samuel on the other side will be checking on your speed. And once he notices that you're going too fast, he is going to show you that. A next sign with a shot of brakes, that means you need to do the braking. So how do you brake? The moment you see a next sign from him, that's when you remove your dominant hand from the pulley using your open palm just press it on the line and press it down so just drag your hand continuously like this so one thing to note avoid grabbing the line at once while doing the braking you might hurt your shoulder so braking just open your palm and press continuously on the line 
Are we good on the breaking? So I want to do a demo on that. So please move next to Samuel on the other side. Just move across to him. Ah, uh, so he's over here, he's over here. Dominant on top, spare hand hold the two, lean back, knees up. And that's how I do the braking. So remember the braking, it's always behind. Never put your hand in front while doing the braking. So let's move on to the second scenario. Ah, uh, if you are too slow and you didn't make it all the way, uh, you normally get stuck at the end, not like in between the cable. So the first thing you're supposed to do, uh, immediately you get stuck, you still remove your dominant hand from the pulley. This time, you grab the cable behind. The reason being, the main lines out there, they're in a U-shape. So if you don't grab the line behind, you'll end up sliding all the way back in the middle of the line and get stuck there. So remember, if you don't make it, it's your dominant hand, grab fast. Then after that, the other hand is still holding the two here. Release, hold in front, you get to turn. And using your two hands, just pull back. One hand after the other. Once you're there, hold the line. And stand up. Questions? So I do have two reminders for you. I'll be the one creeping on the line. I'll let you descend the zip line. Samuel is going to uncrypt from the line. So don't do it yourself. And as much as you're going to have fun, you're going to be responsible for own safety at all time. That's include braking when Mr. Samuel tell you to brake. So you're going to do the training over here on the braking. Uh, once you're good, I'll let you move on to the main cable. So one by one over there. And just go back, grab the gears, come back for the training. Yeah. So others, let's move on. Next one. Ah, next you don't <laughs> Ah, next, next, next. Right. Uh -huh. Left up a chin. I get it on the so could break. No more got it up. So back in the book, Danny. Go, we go, we go, we go. Some time we can get you. No Good breaking.
Mwenyeji mkati. Wewe jo 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 wedding. Umefungia break mbali. I'll give you the comment later, but that is fun. You guys, if you're not, let me catch my breath. But this should be on your bucket list. The forest, it's so amazing. Like, different zip lining, good experience, amazing people. The place to live. 